Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19. With me, Mr. Sealy P. It's a wonderful Wednesday. It's the 29th of September. We have got some new mods. We've got a very important mod, which you've probably already seen from the thumbnail. Um, we have got... Well, we had three updates, although one of them wasn't showing a change log and has now disappeared off of the mod hub, which means the next picture you're going to see, well, it will make sense. Um, Factional map by Adriano de Avila, um, Namog, uh, and Lost, uh, sorry, Namog mod and Lost Gamer has had an update, and the Gvernland Accord DL pack by Ericsson. Uh, the the one in the middle, I think, was the GNU, um, but that wasn't showing a change log, so I'm not sure why that was saying update unless there was an issue with it, but they have had updates today. In front of me, then, we have the Shed Wood Old. This by Sloat Chess Modding, 4.98 megabytes download, nine slots on console. It's 23,000 to buy it. You'll find it in placeables and sheds. It's a very nice looking building, lots of detail, lots of texturing, ivy up the side, that kind of thing. But there is a minor issue. The pictures on the website show it because, as you can see, it's stepped up, which means you can't really access that. But it shows it kind of blended in with the landscape with a sort of sweep up to it. Sort of, you can imagine it in a hillside kind of coming down and, you know, you can come around. Up. Um, I can't get it to do that. I tried placing it embedded into the hillside and it wouldn't let me. I tried placing it sort of into the hillside which it didn't let me do it just put this bump up so i tried landscaping next to it and it will it just won't let me landscape right up against it it let me raise it up here but then to smooth it i just i couldn't get it to work um which i yeah i mean it could be map specific it may be that you'll place it on your map and have no problem landscaping up against it but i haven't been able to which is a real shame because i like the look of it i like that sweep up um Light switch over here in the corner, or at the side. Nine slots, 23,000, and the placeables and sheds. Maybe you'll have a bit more luck with it than I did. That's by Sloot Chess Modding. Next, we have the Lizard Tour Plough. Now, I thought it was a misspelling. I thought it meant Turn Plough. But everywhere on the website and in here in the mod tab, it says T-U-R. So the Lizard Tour Plough. Uh, 5.74 megabytes download, 9 slots on console. It's by KZ Modding. You can have a 3 furrow or a 5 furrow, 2.1 meters or 2.5 meters. It is a turn plow, so you can take your leading edge of your furrow up the previous furrow when you get to the end of the field, turn the plow, come back, and continue your leading edge on the last furrow. Nicely made, nicely detailed. All the bolt heads and everything there. Looks very nice indeed. Uh, this you will find under tools and ploughs. It's 14,000 to buy. Requires 110 horsepower. It will run at 7 miles per hour. Main colour changes the main framework. Rim colour changes the rim colour for the wheel. Well, I say that. That didn't change. Okay, rim colour's not changing. Um, design colour changes the colour of the actual plough. Well, not shanks, are they? Mine's gone blank, that's what they're called. Uh, mould boards. Mould boards? Yeah. Uh, then we've got standard. All the five option. Oh, it's a four and a five, not a three and a five. Sorry. 2.1 to 2.5 metres is the difference in that. Operates... Like most turn ploughs do, drop it down and plough one way. And then when you get to the end of your field or your turn or whatever you want to do, lift it. Come on next, turns the plough. So when you make your turn the other way, your leading edge of your plough is your leading edge alongside the last furrow that you did. This will create fields as well. If we put it on L1 and triangle, I think it's L1, should be L1 and triangle. Drop it down. So you can extend your fields or create new ones wherever you are. 
There you go. Lizard to plough by KZ Modding. Next, let's just drop that off. Sorry, that was a bit aggressively dropped there. We've got the 82, the 82s, the 82 six ton fertilizer spreader. This is by 82 Studio. It's a nice looking bit of kit. It's got self leveling on the back here, so going up and down hills, it, it was, everything adjusts on the back. Very nicely made, very nicely put together. We've got a few different options on this. Um, it's 21.26 megabytes download, 11 slots on console. There's a 6,000 litre, a 9,000 litre, and an unreal 25,000 litre. When it says unreal, 25,000 litres is not an unreal capacity, but it is for the size. So obviously fitting 20, 25,000 litres into something that size, yeah, you know, that's why it means unreal. But like I say, it is nicely made and detailed. I have got two, there's a reason for that as well, which will become apparent when we have a look at the options, and there are quite a few, as you would expect from Institute Studio. So, under fertiliser technology, it's only 12,200 for the base model as well, which is pretty good, and it runs at 15 miles an hour, which most of them are 12, some are 11... There are some modded ones that run a bit faster, so 15 miles now, pretty handy as well. It will do lime or fertiliser. So we can change the rim colour, turn anything on that palette, and across the top we've got the metallics, so we've got stainless steel, dark steel, aluminium, chrome, polished, and then there's some stock ones and yeah, a few different to choose from. Uh, main colour changes the chassis. Now the one that I went for actually, on this top row here, You've got Sam, Sam aged, Sam corrugated. Now that gives it almost a kind of, almost like a powder coated kind of ridged look to it. Don't you just see that in the light as you sort of swing across? I, I kind of like that. Um, design colour. Does the rest. So, and there are a few different options on that. There are, there's stainless steel and... I think there's, yeah, there's a galvanised version as well, which I think I went for too. So a whole load of options to have a look through loads of different colours and choices and metallics and things. Then we've got configuration standard, extension. So standard is 6,000 litres. Extension takes is a 9,000 litres. You can then have that 9,000 litre with sort of plastic sides on it. So you've got the main extension, but then you've got these sort of, I say plastic, carbon fibre maybe, they look kind of plasticky. Uh, then extension three is the unrealistic, which takes up to 25,000 litres. Um, so the sort of size stays the same, but it does have a much bigger option. Then we've got tyre options, 82's machinery, tyres to start off with. Then we've got Trelleborgs with no options. Michelins, we've got bib load and we've got Agriterra. I do like those knobbly bib loads, look at those, they're rather cool. Uh, and then Nokian, we've got ELS and we've got Twins. But I think it's back to 82's machinery. Then design, now this is on the back, this whole back spreading section, I think. Yeah, aluminium, dark steel, galvanised, white paint, black paint, black plastic, back to aluminium. Sorry, that says aluminium. Aluminium. Um, then spreader system. Now, this is why I've got a second one. Because that says standard or unrealistic. For an extra 10 grand but it doesn't say anywhere what the spread width is so that's going to be a bit of a surprise because it doesn't that's not on the website or on here so i don't know what is going to be the spreader system let's find out together shall we so this one 25,000 litre capacity standard spread width i will we'll see what we kind of get with it it could be that the yeah, standard spread width is bonkers anyway i don't know okay that's fairly standard what we're we looking at there that's got to be a, not even, well, maybe 12, is it? Let's open up this. And let's have a look, shall we? So we kind of went from about here, didn't we? No, not that one. That's what we want. Can't see it in the bottom corner. Um... Maybe 10? Is it a 10 metre spread width? Seems to be about that. I'm just looking, what are we, 82? Maybe 12. 
I said 12 to 9 initially. Yeah, I think it's 12. 12 meter, I think, for standard. Okay, let's see what the unreal one is. Let's disconnect. You can also, I think you can fold it, which I didn't show just then, which when we hook up, the leg winds up at the front, but we can fold that leg away. Is it L1 and X? Yeah, there you go, look. So you can fold that leg right out of the way if you want to. Let's see what the unreal is then. How unreal are we talking here? Okay. That probably takes out to 24. That looks about double, doesn't it? So 12 to 24. Oh, it's not too unrealistic then. I was thinking it was going to be like 40, 50 metres or something. Absolutely crazy. Um, but there you go. Nice bit of machinery. Lime and or fertiliser. Not and. <laughs> Lime or fertiliser. Um, out either to 12 or 24. I'm pretty sure it's 24. Apologies if that is wrong. Um, but there you go, the 82 to 6 tonne fertiliser spreader. Another nice bit of kit there from 82 Studio. Next up then, we've got the MP Agro Taurus 12,000 along the same lines as the Taurus Robusta we had recently as well, which I quite, I quite like. 10.98 megabytes download, 14 slots on console. This is by Connect Modding Group Miotto Modding EMP Agro. Um, this will do fertiliser lime or manure. Fertilizer it will spread to 36 meters, lime and manure it will do to 12 meters. So there's no point in me getting three different ones out to check because it says it quite clearly in the description so I don't have to worry too much. Uh, nicely made, nicely detailed. Does the same job really. Uh, let's turn that off. Uh, if we go into here, this is under fertilizer technology as well. The Taurus 12,000 28,000 to buy, it's 12,000 litres, runs at 11 miles an hour, 36 metre spread width, like I say, for fertiliser, but then uh, lime and manure is 12. We can have design one, which has a kind of just thrown over tarp, or we can have a proper fixed cover, which I think was the one I went for, which adds 1,300 on for design two. Those are the options. So, open cover clover open clover and co's clo <laughs> co's clover yep ha <sighs> open cover and close cover uh, we do have lights on the back let's give it a nice view off the back of that if you're working at night pretty sure the rear axle turns as well they go the rear axles turn gives it a nice turning circle And a spread width out to 36 metres. I think that's probably why I was quite surprised by the previous one, by the 82 Studio one, saying it was unrealistic. That's why I thought it was going to be properly unrealistic, like massive, because this spreads out to 36. We've got a few fertiliser spreaders that do. Uh, maybe just unrealistic for the size of it, maybe that's why. Uh, but there you go, 36 metre spread width on the MP Agro Taurus 12,000 by Connect Modding Group Miotto Modding E MP Agro. Next up then, we have got these, the Same Silver E and the Lamborghini R5. Oh, I thought we'd already had these. And I say that again because the picture, I'm sure I mentioned this last time, the picture on the, on the Mod Hub website shows the bonnet open, but I can't find an option to allow me to do that. Uh, not in the console version. Anyway, uh, why have we got two of those right next to each other? Well, one of the options on here is to have standard tyres or worn tyres. We've had that on a few different mods. I just wanted to, I went for the same tyres, but one's normal, one's worn, just to see the difference between the worn tread and the standard tread. And there is there is a definite difference. Not that there wouldn't be, but I just thought, you know, it's worth having a look. There are a few options on these. Um, these are by Black Eyes Modding, 27.13 megabytes download. They are 10 slots each for the first one. And they are actually, they do come up as separate um, mods. So if we go to vehicles and small tractors, 
So the Same, silver, 76 grand. The Lamborghini R5, 76 grand. The options on both are exactly the same. So I'll show you one. Let's like say it's the same on the other one. 115 horsepower base model. I think it goes up to 130, 115, 130. 24 miles an hour top speed. Attacher joints on the front. We've got standard. We've got with weight or we've got front hydraulic. Then we've got Trelleborg, Lizard, Iron Wheels, Michelin, and back to Trelleborg. Under Trelleborg, we've got standards, wides, narrows, rear twins, twins. We've then got TM 1060s, which I think is what I went for. Um, we've then got TM 800 broad used, the TM 1060 used, which was the second set, then TM 800 broad used set two, then back to standard. Uh, under Lizard, as we've already seen, just iron wheels. Under Michelin, we've got standard or wides. I don't think there's any other options. Yes, just standard or wides under the Michelin. Then back to Trelleborg. Then Beacon, we've got standard left Beacon. Then we've got 115 or 130 horsepower options under engine setup. Then we can have front loader attacher, yes or no. Those are your options. So aircon unit on the roof. So... We'll hop into the Lamborghini. Um, obviously, you can see the, the logos and whatnot, Same on the side of that. On this one, we've got Lamborghini on the front and on the rear arches. It says Lamborghini on there, Same on there. Horn, lights. That one I didn't go for a beacon on. I think one of those I went for a beacon on. Interior, nicely detailed, you do sit quite a way back from the wheel, but that, that being said, there are some options on here. On L1, R1 and left stick side to side, we can bring the wheel down, close towards us, so L1, R1 and left stick side to side. Then L1, R1, right stick side to side, does the right door, sorry. And right stick up and down, does the left door. So L1, R1, those are your options. So I can't find an option for the bonnet, for opening the on there at all. Um, so yeah, again, probably the PC version, I would imagine. Yeah. Not a bad couple of tractors, 115 or 130 horsepower. Very nice indeed. I was trying to think, was there, any other, was there anything else I wanted to show you on those? I don't think so. Apologies if you can hear banging. My next door neighbour is having... Well, I thought she already had her kitchen done, but I think she might be having an extension built or something. I'm not too sure. Um, so, there's a bit of bang. I've been trying to do it in between, but obviously that proves quite difficult. Um, so, that's my Black Eyes modding, which brings me on to the last of the mods for today. And this, I'm not going to say, is a game changer, or am I? Mm. Um, this has been long awaited, and there is debate over whether or not it is what it says it is. Well, no. What it says it is is not what it is. It'll make sense in a minute. This is the wood chipper trailer by Curato, Curato Farms. Now, recently I have been in... Uh, I've been messaging with... Um, AJ Sims, who's one of the Kuroto Farms um, modders, one of the group that does modding, about this coming out. And it was on its way out, and it was going to be an auto-load log trailer. But the only way they could get it to work was that it would wood chip logs that were on the floor. And I couldn't in my head work out, OK, so then it's a wood chipper then, it's not a, it's not a log trailer. But here's the thing. When it does, it puts them on like this, which obviously don't look like the logs normally do. But there's no kind of real, I say, wood chipping th that goes on. It will become a bit clearer in the moment. This is as close to a, to an auto-load log trailer as I think we're going to get. Weirdly, giants weren't too happy about it being called that. So they had to go away and come back. And that's why it's been called the wood chipper trailer. Because it has this wood chipper underneath. But weirdly, it will take logs and looks like logs. And they've also included a sell point. Which means that when you take it, you get paid for them as if they were logs rather than wood chips. So it's, yeah, I mean, I suppose it's there, the best way they could get round the kind of auto log trailer 
Now, obviously, some people like to man manually move their logs around, take them to cranes and stuff like that. So, obviously, as far as an auto log tra trailer goes, yeah, I mean, if it was a true auto load log trailer, it would load these logs on, they would look like those logs, and then you could take them somewhere else and unload them manually with cranes and stuff like that. Obviously, you can't do that, because technically, that is showing as, as a capacity. The logs are here to show you how full it is as it goes. But I'll be honest, I, I honestly think it's as close to as you're going to get, really, because of the scripting issues and those kind of things. Um, it's 6.58 megabytes download. Eight slots on console for the trailer, which I think is amazing. The sale point is only one slot. The sale point is only one pound, euro, or dollar to buy as well, which makes it pretty handy, if you ask me. Not that you are, but I'm just saying. Give my two penneth. Um, you'll find this under forestry forestry equipment still can't say forestry properly uh the wood chipper trailer is 28 grand it's got a capacity of 175,000 liters of wood chips um options will set up standard or wide tires those are the only two options no color choice or anything like that you get it as it is so let's see it in operation and what it actually does now you can see the wood chipper underneath if we unfold it so it would be a good idea if I actually hooked up to the trailer first. There we go. Um, let's pull forward a little bit. Unfolding the wood chipper, L1 and X. Slides the wood chipper out. Flips the whole thing over into its ready to use wood chipping position. But this is the thing, it doesn't really wood chip. And that, that's what. That's why I say I think this is how they've kind of got around it. If I now turn it on, L1 and square. So it's kind of running, but watch. So, yeah, whilst it is technically wood chipping, it's kind of auto-loading logs. It's, you know... I like it, but what's also very cool is if you don't want to spend ages and ages um, bringing logs out of the woodland and you watch me get stuck on a tree stump now or something really daft. I think I've cut down a couple of trees over here somewhere. Where did I put them? Or say put them. Where did I leave them? There we go. Um, you can do it directly from the floor. So if you just go around cutting down trees with your um, chainsaw, you don't need any other forestry gear if you don't want to. What am I stuck on? Just the slope of it. Please work. Turn it on. Please wood chip. There you go. So it took the tree and wood chipped it and added a sort of another log on. And let's say I know that part of it's not hyper realistic obviously but I'll try again there we go put another log on let's turn it off let's fold it now here's the thing I haven't tried yet I mean that to me that's you know we had logs on the floor we've got logs on here we've got 60,440 litres of in inverted commas wood chips um, I assume what we do now is just take it to the sell point and it will sell. Please sell. Oh, there you go. And the logs are going off as if they would do. So it's not like I'm selling wood chips, really. The logs are disappearing like it's a log trailer. I can't see the problem with that. I, I That's an auto-load log trailer, isn't it? I know there'll be people that will argue the difference. Um... But I'll be honest, I think it's a happy um, happy medium somewhere between, I think. I like it. That's the wood chipper trailer from Karate Farms. Let's move forward. Yeah, look at that. That's fantastic. And I didn't even have it full. 175,000 litres. That's a lot of logs and a lot of money. So for all those people that want to do logging, and they really, really don't like all the, pr the stuff that goes with it, because the amount of people that have said, oh, I'd love to do it, but I don't like manipulating logs, that's why we need an auto-load log trailer. I'm pointing at the screen. I should, I should, it doesn't really help you very much. You don't know that. But there, there you go. Um, we have had a map release today as well, The Great Lands of Europe by AG Modding, which I will hopefully get to. 
I will try my best. But that's it for the mods for today. The Woodshed Betrayal by Karate Farms. Um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Don't forget, Miss Silly P merch is available. Link in the description. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.